Welcome back everybody. We are proceeding our quest in modern. So I've switched out one Liliana with another Liliana. And we're playing mystical teachings here in the main board. <clears throat> As I figured that we don't really need a big threat up top, we just need sometimes to find another removal spell or um, a counter spell or whatever. And we can also fish Snapcaster Mage and Nimble for extra value. Um, in the sideboard, currently we have two Neil Spell Bombs. Not sure if that's a little bit of an overkill here. Might also be possible that we want to go with like one Surgical, two Neil Spell Bombs because we always get to uh, fetch off the Surgical with our Mystical Teachings and then one Dispel. So let's jump into the league here and see where we're going here. Because <clears throat> without a one mana counter spell, I feel a little bit naked, I have to admit. And I also don't want to commit too many resources on dredge. was so funny when I first saw Hollow One being spoiled and I said this is gonna be seeing modern play and like my whole group of magic player friends were like nah never man such a bad card yeah of course anyhow <clears throat> I'll not the Sultai deck is still on the Sultai League is still uploading. We're hopefully gonna find an opponent soon here. Alright. No, we can keep that. If we were to be on the play here, it would be a little better. But um, I guess that's fine. Lightning Bolt, though. So the problem is that Rise Fall is bugged. So. We can't just, like as long as he has lands, <clears throat> we cannot commit in resources to killing what he has in hand, getting rid of it. Hopefully he's just playing a flooded strand here, passing the turn, perfect. Give us the opportunity to counter it, of course. as we always do and get a little bit ahead on resources here hmm. Alright, so no cryptic mana up. <clears throat> Terminus. Oh my god. Why? <clears throat> Thank you. 
So the else is a sorcery, therefore that's not really a big problem. So we can't use the Field of Ruin here because if he were to have perfect. I'm so gonna go with a blue source here. So he does have all oust. Now let's risk it. <clears throat> Fuck it. But of course Ghost Quarter is on Colonnade as well if you wanted to, but I'd be fine with that, I guess. So at first, could get a Snapcaster Mage, but that's not really helpful. Um, Conra Magic. Mm. No. So since we're so absolutely stuck with mana here, they, we cannot get freaking rid of any of our cards. We just need to be as proactive as possible in many circumstances. Still can take a couple of colonnade hits, so I'm not as worried about that. Okay, but we definitely need to counter that one. Two, three, four, five. Thoughtseize is gonna go, and this one as well. Finally, lands. That helps. And 
that helps as well. Um, we're gonna go return and draw cards. Hope that we're going to draw, which we don't. I was gonna say a black source. Then we could have played Liliana and just discarded the Celestial Colonnade. Okay, so no counter spell in hand. Could kill our nimble. The only thing is, no. If he has a Jace as a follow-up here, then we would probably have a problem. Okay, he doesn't, but safe is safe because uh, we still have a couple of sweet plays now. With so many cards in hand, we just can't get rid of them, like playing something, doing something every turn. Our opponents on zero cards. that before we get to untap. Now I'm a little pissed though. Hmm. Alright. That one's probably worth it as well. He's gonna try to activate his colonnade again in order to kill our Liliana. We're gonna counter it. One, two, three, four, five. Could also just bounce colonnade but I would rather do that at the end of turn here right feels like it would die
Oh yeah, we still have mythical teachings as well, so... <clears throat> He's definitely gonna bring in a graveyard aid. I'm almost certain of it. Um actually don't wanna have Liliana here. Super many discord spells, but no black source. That could go wrong. Top bottom. Black source, black source. Okay. <clears throat> If we add something there, taking a search, probably already GG. This way, though, we're playing it on hard mode. Fuck you, bitch. He's definitely not gonna take anything. So hands so horrible. <clears throat> if he's following it up with the J's like that's a really good curve. Okay, I think it's GG. Okay. We didn't really put up much of a fight there. But he also had probably the best curve you can potentially have in a control matchup. You go, serum regions, search, click, chase, to ferry, just an insane curve. <clears throat> Depending on whether or not he is gonna go 
with the tapped land. That's what I wanted to say. We're gonna play Jace here, so we have potentially a free um, cast of our Fulminator. Lol. Yeah, I'm not one hundred percent sure. Um, not only what he's doing here, but also why. Because um, I mean, we're a Greek stack, right? As much should be obvious. Discarding Scalding Tarn here, probably not the best thing we could possibly do, right? So the thing we're gonna do. <clears throat> Honestly do not understand what's going on. Apparently he kept it really risky hands. Do I want to have the swamp? Yeah, I think so. I'll go top top. And that ghost quarter there is really costing him here. How good a hieroglyphic illumination is. It's just, just insanely good. Not.
pathing his own Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, I think that's fine. He needs to do something here because our Jace will flip and that's just 8 spells. And he's probably not going to be able to... Uh, strong so strong yes. got you yes 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 well what would we have drawn Thoughtsies? good card good card good card All good games. Good games. Probably want to start off with Blood Say Mire here. Because that's. Misty Rainforest. Into Basic Island. Okay. So I guess we're going to stay safe here and just roll with the punches as long as we can. Also hope that mystical teachings will come in handy in this matchup. If this is bunt, then um, On one wanderer. Okay, spawn spirits. Okay, so this already means that something weird is going on in the sands. Probably wouldn't have started this way if he had another option. <clears throat> so we're gonna get something down. Kill the Hierarch, have a threat, so that he doesn't have access to white, potentially. Unless he's playing this spell's main, spell periods could be possible. But unlikely. All basics. Why? Just because he can? Okay. We're drawing way too many lands. Like way too many lands. And again, sure. Fuck you. Let's 
So it's either a spark router <clears throat> or a collect company. I would consider both being equally possible. But we really need something to get rid of that cavern of souls now. Which is super annoying. Yeah, let's go to collective company. Collected company. Choose to go with Spellcaller instead. Um, yeah, we're gonna kill it, I guess. Just so we don't run into other kinds of protective measures. We have Liliana in our deck. Okay. Okay, so now our only, <laughs> the only thing we need to do here is to draw more value than he does. And that shouldn't be too hard, like, per se, but I might be countering the Eighth of Isle anyhow. Just so we get um, a little bit of traction and the card draw, and the Ethereal also tells me that he's not playing collected company. I think. Ah, he actually might, but that's weird. Like playing Noble Hierarch, Ethereal, and collected company. I'm not sure if that's correct. Also don't know what our opponent's waiting for here. I'm just gonna pause until we get there. So our opponent has decided to uh, be playing magic again. And since he tapped for green there, I'm not even gonna consider <clears throat> um, collect company. So we're just gonna get a two for one out of this one. Oh, come on. I was like, yeah, we already have so many lands, there's no way we're drawing lands from now on. Also, we fetched three already. Had a couple of redraws. Not so good. So he might have a spell caller here. And if he does, we probably have to race. Yes, 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 yes. <clears throat>
this. And so there we go. Without drawing a sin single spell here that helps us in any way. This is unbelievable. <sighs> Come on, deck. We've seen 21 cards of our library. And the only, like, aside from the cards that we had in hand, we only drew like three spells. It's just insane. Please be company, please be company, please be company. Flip the mage. Well, we're gonna counter whatever we can cover. I don't really care. So on the plus side, if he doesn't have like two lords right now, I think he might die. On the negative side though, 22 fucking lands, just freaking nothing. Alright, um, so a couple of things with this one. I have the dispel. So let's go over this. Um, Thought sees on the draw. Probably don't want to have rice fall in this particular matchup and rather go with collective brutality. Then, since we know he's playing caverns, which also not all lists are because of. Well, maybe some lists are. Um, is it Steadycaster? We can fetch with Mystical Teachings. As can we with that. Dispel for other counter spells. Probably just gonna go without cryptic here whatsoever. One thought sees one brutality. I think we're keeping because of the Jace that will either grant us a land through a path or hmm. just die for the sake of it. Of course, turn one vial is somewhat annoying. <clears throat> Probably a Thalia. A rest in peace. Sure. <clears throat> Need 
need to go with the same bands. Well, more than Honda at least is also turned off, but We do have a decent hand, but we're still a little bit on the back foot here. That's a spell quarter, and I think now we need to take the seize the opportunity here to get a two for one without being uh, disrupted here. By Athalia. Yeah. Stuff is good, just fine because we have the Izzet Steady Caster. Discord is collect company. Interesting. So maybe another company or a Geist. Drugs, okay, all right. So we're on, I think. So if we manage to draw a red source. Already did it's pretty good, so I think we're gonna discard teachings here. Sacrifice selfless spirits to save him. At least that would make sense. Mm -hmm. We, of course, terminate that in response. So that's all gone. Now is it steady caster hmm, is mediocre at best. We'll have to see where this is gonna go. Would we'll need for him to have like one dead roll. Not sure if Horizon kind of be um, does qualify for a dead roll here. Uh, no, it doesn't. So we're taking three again. We need to find further solutions. More solutions. Yeah, I think City Cancer, as good as it is right now, just doesn't do what I want, what I wanted to do. Lily, hmm. I think I'm going to 
gonna go bottom bottom here really need to find fuck Spell caller, please. It's the best two lands that you can possibly draw there. Thank God. Thank God. That is also a good spell. And it's also a spell that... So what I want to do here now is have a look if he does have something good in his hand. If not, it just dies and it's fine. But if he does have something good in his hands, right, then we can potentially just catch it all off here. We'll also lose our chase, but he already did. A lot of work, otherwise we wouldn't have even gone here. Unless he finds a subtle spirit. Oh no, oh no. Oh fuck. <laughs> no. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's put it in different terms. So I think he has no he has two more spell colors in his deck. Okay. Oh my fucking god, what is going on, Moto? What the fuck's going on? Do we risk it? I think we can't. Just have to kill all of that. Problem, of course, is that our lightning bolt goes to waste. Don't have a man land play as well. So, well, at least now we do have now. Fucking shit. Fucking shit. That is unbelievable.
I'm so pissed. Fuck. <clears throat> yes. Yes. And yes. Hopefully it just goes with a bile. Because that allows us to just go Jace or Cells. Otherwise, we would have uh, needed to go with Mountain here. Kill the thing. Now with Thalia would be great. Southwest Spirit is fine as well. So we do have him a little bit on the back foot here. He needs to find a solution to at least one of the two cards that we have in play. Alright, there's Geist. And we do have a solution for that one as well. So, don't really mind the Geist. Just in case he's bringing in like 
some other spirit I'm gonna keep up uh, lightning bolt So this point Jace becomes slightly more irrelevant. Uh, no Jace, a Fulminator Mage. We could of course still go after a Horizon Canopy or something like that. And that would still be fine. Okay. So I think we're gonna oh, we'll see. Let's exercise this through. Jace is going to target Lightning Bolt. Lily's going to take up. Interesting. So this is gonna hit that dude. And that one returns and makes him discard. So I think that was a decent line of play. If he doesn't go after Liliana, then Liliana will kill the Spell Queller. If he goes after Liliana, then Jace holds Spell Queller down, so it's pretty okay both ways. Thank you. 
Well, he could be tricking us, of course, to doing something. But I think there is almost no harm for us to do, still play here. So he must have drawn this one though, because otherwise he would have just played it to uh, get under the other one there, I imagine. Why? Why? What's going on here? Fuck you! What a hustle. Honestly, cannot understand why we are never drawing anything off the top. It's like, and we have so many zero regions, so much stuff to just you know, look at things. Must have forgotten about that, because um, this is a huge tempo swing that he should not be able to deal with. And that's also stupid. Like we're gonna swing back for 7 next turn life linked so 14 points of life difference <clears throat> yeah and he wouldn't be able to win anyway before he times out so doesn't really matter
measure. Don't even have anything in our graveyard that could potentially punish him. Or we could bounce, like bounce bold or something, but it doesn't really matter as well. Yeah, we got almost 12 minutes on ag aggro player, which is just bonkers. Bonkers. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh. Well, let's make it <laughs> mystical teachings so we at least have a um, have a use for it. So, Jeez. GG's. <clears throat> Alright, jumping into round number three here. So I'm not gonna lie. Tokens are still a problem for this deck, especially now that we have gotten rid of PNQ and Nalar. But I'm very pleased with consuming the Mika, I have to say. It's just super good to have a sweeper outside of your own main phase combat step risky hand as always oh no Close to saying, man, it paid off that I went with Warrior Grave over Blood Crypt in the beginning, but it actually didn't. So, yeah, we can't play the Rise Fall yet because. As long as he has lands in hand, the Modo Bug.
shit. And yeah, the Serum Blaze as well. That is cool. So, Skullcrack, two unknown cards. That's pretty rough. 
like it's very unlikely that we're gonna be able to do something here pull ourselves out of it if we were at full life everything would be a different story but this way Well, with the monstrous of by itself, though, we probably can deal. Don't even know. I don't think there's a reason here to play uh, to uh, block it. If we draw a counter spell, then we still have nimble. Okay, so two, two. Uh, yeah. Goblin Guide or another Swift Spear would be great here for us. Other than that, though, nothing's really appealing. And there is a cost to go down to one as well. Because then a Skull Crack without landfall becomes lethal. Goblin Guide. That is amazing. Thoughties, yeah. Yeah. Exactly what we wanted. So, we could kill one, of course, block the other one, but I want to have Snapcaster Mage back. That's why I said the draw was so good. So good. Um, so, yeah. Return and deal damage. We might be dead, but if we're not drawing a land to get an advantage here to either deploy Jace or Liliana, then uh, just nothing really helps.
So let's see. We could go Inquisition, then Jace, and still have Snapcaster up. I think we're gonna run into... Oh, it's a Goblin Guide. Why didn't he play the Rift Bolt, though? Okay, taking the Rift Bolt. Oops, definitely not that one. Probably need to go snap mage now though to not run into an instant. Can block the other the golem knight. Have a look at what we draw. Not have a look at what we draw. So right now we also have the availability of mystical teachings again. Right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Logic nodes. And that one, one, two, suck. And pass the turn. We're still there. And by now, like, he has to draw land in between as well. So the card that he has in hand is definitely a dead card. Either another creature, which is possible. That's just several draws. As much as we can. I mean, we're still fighting here, um, playing around everything that our opponent might have. That's pretty cool, but it's also, you know, pretty unlikely that we're going to win this. Well, I mean, you know, if you had an instant, then you should have killed us during your turn. Won't worry, we're completely tapped out. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, let's have a look at li this. We have a mana, a blue mana, too little. But let's say we play the swamp here. Let's say we go top, top, right? Play the swamp, go Liliana, take her down, get a snapcaster mage. 
Now we have a counter spell again. Our opponent has drawn so well at some point. Like, we just need to hope that. Yeah, that was the other possibility here, of course. That he might have. <clears throat> Just a creature that he sent back in the hopes of bringing it in at a different point in time. So, okay. So, I don't exactly think that. Our Snapcaster Mage is going to be good if we play it here. As I said, if he has a sorcer Sorcery or an instant there, we're just dead. But that's the fact, that's okay. We're still counting on that one card that he had last turn. Like, it could have been the Goblin Guide and it would have make, made sense to not play it at that point. Because the other Goblin Guide, of course, had was a 0, 2, and one would have just traded off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So uh, now we know one card is definitely that card, and that will allow us to potentially do something next turn. Fuck you. Oh my goodness, he gave up. We won that game? What the fuck? <laughs> With the one life against Infa uh, against Burn? Yes. That was just amazing. Okay, so this Liliana goes. I was actually quite pleased with mystical teachings here, I have to say. But we're still a little heavy on everything. So on the play, I also like bring in uh, Fulminator Mages on the draw, though. That's not super good. Let's give it. Got a little bit on the of removal for the early game. A counter spell, a cheap counter spell, as soon as we find a blue source. Goblin Guide hopefully helps us a little bit. It's almost blue spell or bust here, a uh, blue land. Damn it.
terminates. Okay. <clears throat> so seven live. We have a terminate and a dispel to clear a little bit of a way. No bubble lightning helix in his hands. That he is mistakenly not playing for whatever reason. Yes. Not gonna happen. So if it wants to borrow Storm and the Golden Guide, I wouldn't mind. Therefore, I'm just gonna wait here, sit this one out. Okay, it's gonna go the other direction. So I think, yeah, there's a Sacred Foundry still in the sands. Right, and another Boar Storm. Really nerve wracking here. Mm, that's quite interesting. So we've seen him being cautious before. This could very well be just caution. He has a lightning bolt, which he of course has. I watch his dead. <clears throat> okay, so I think one mystical teachings here is probably enough. And the Liliana we don't really need. Rise fall is pretty good in certain circumstances, but it is also pretty slow, as is mystical teachings. But with this one, we can at least target and utilize whatever space we're gonna get. And that he has kept the sacred foundry in hand at that time it wasn't just him playing around with rise fall; it was him going with the landfall trigger of 
Searing Blaze, which leads me to believe that he still has it in his deck. Yeah, come on, let's keep it a risky hand here. Black Red Source, Blood Crypt, something, and we're okay. With the Red Source, we have all of our removal turned on with Black Source. We have some light gain. Okay, that goes with the Red Source. And then we followed up with a red uh, with a black source. So this might of course mean that he doesn't have any creatures, none whatsoever, but it might also just mean that he only has an nylon here. Oh my goodness, he's just facing, fetching for basics? Why? With basics, of course, our formula image doesn't make any sense. Ah, all right, <laughs> that's the reason. <laughs> Lol. Typical burn player. Lol, lol, lol. Okay. Off to round number four. Yeah, and that one we wouldn't have lost 100%. What an interesting league. I might merge this one with the league that I played before this one, which we started also with a 3 0, but a 6 0 in games. Um, and then I proceeded to. Then I had a break, took a shower, 
and afterwards I just uh, apparently wasn't in the flow anymore, you know. <clears throat> Despite, I think, I mean, against Valakut, that was just Conch Tyrant, which is not beatable for us. But against um, Eliot, I remember the name, but I can't exact, but okay, of course. Alright, so playing Urza's power plan go can only mean one or two things. Either Natural Tron or he has a fucking shit. Forest. Okay, Natural Tron is it, it is apparently. But then why would he play Walking Ballista for one now? What the fuck? Um, why the fuck are we just drawing freaking lands? It's a drowsy tron. Oh, what is going on, everyone? That makes things different. Then, of course, like I haven't played against Eldrazi Tron in such a long time that I didn't even like. Um, well, also, he started with two Tron then, so. Jays. Nope. Yes. Oh my fucking god. Well, well, that is probably not going to go super well. So let's say, <clears throat> like, we're risking it all here, bringing in. So he has to decide on whether or not he wants to draw a card or attack. He's probably gonna attack because we're like, as I said, yeah, that too close to everything. Okay. <clears throat> so the good thing is, consume the meat doesn't do anything. That's not the good, real good thing though. The good thing is that he doesn't have a clue what we're up to. He's only seen Snapguns, Mages, Serum Visions, and 
lightning bolts and we'll still in there because they are also playing Expedition map, as well as we can potentially counter a Thelmosia trigger. have to go with the expedition map here otherwise he gets himself Tron Relic is annoying of course Matter Shaper can play around Icefall also not really good without a red source in this situation. We're gonna go after the power plant here. That feels like the best option. So we have good cards in hand, just can't play them. Freaking shit hole of a motherfucker. Not the right land. Just horrible. The only land here in our entire deck that does not help us whatsoever. Damn you. Now we go Reality Smasher. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna block anyway. <clears throat> Thought not see, yeah, good, 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 good.
still going to go with it. Maybe we hit like Thought Seize, Inquisition, Logic Knot. Or a Jace. <clears throat> oh my fucking god, what the fuck? Naturally drew into like the ba best possible sequence of lands. Now he's gonna surprise us with one of his really, really thought through strategies here. Oh my goodness. It's Ugin. Guys, I can't believe it. So well played. My goodness. So good. Hmm. Let's see, yeah, well, we can just continue here. So that reality smash right hand. Mm. I still think that the decisions were correct. It's definitely a keep on the play. Uh, we also definitely want to take we definitely also want to take uh, expedition map there. So yeah. Can't complain overall. Well, yeah. Tron is a stupid deck, but at least you can interact with it, and it's very clunky in what it does. But, as I said before, looting is just a broken card. So every time I'm looking at our starting end and think, well, this is, you know, give me humans, give me control, it's a fine hand. Um, we're playing against some weird shit. Okay. So this has to be a black red source. Uh, 
Ähm, I think we need to let the Ravager resolve and kill that one. Hang a big walker. Well, none of this makes it easier, but we're still gonna go out. Well, not pre combat though. That was strange. Didn't expect our bowl to get so much value out. Yeah, sure. But that mox opal isn't turned on just yet. So he's going to play Hangerback Walker. If we play Liliana, he's probably going to sacrifice the Outbound Walker in order to um, get a couple more counters off on Hangerback. And then. Fucking shit, man. What an insane hand. Three opals. Ancient Syrinx, Archon, Ravager, and Archon Worker. Okay, this is a problem. Up until now, I would have said, okay, well, we can deal with it. But uh, Throne of Geth really is a problem. Because it doesn't utilize any mana. Maybe our Liliana can soak up a little bit of damage. I think he's gonna sacrifice the Akman Worker to go on to hang a back. If we find, let's say, we were to find a light, well, light mode's probably not good enough. No clue how we get rid of the hanger bag with Throne of Geth on the battlefield. That's actually super annoying. So Liana's gonna take at least one hit. Yes. Oh yes, don't attack the hanger bag. Okay. Now we actually have an opportunity here. So he's going to sack an artifact to proliferate and There are two ways of dealing with this. Either we go... 
Now, I think we just deal with three Thopter tokens and call it a day. Because otherwise we'll just... Like, setting this kind of thing up again, just insane. Okay, terminate, it's okay. <laughs> No ink moth nexus activation. So something else is coming. Again, such a weird mistake. Um. Like, he should have at least taken the mana into the pool. So pull of the game. What nasty shit. So again, he's not attacking with the Mock Nexus, so I'm gonna go ahead. Get our last bolt here out. Um take two damage. So we still have two mystical teachings in our graveyard that can potentially fetch up Kolgan's command both times. Just need to have a little bit of um, slack for that to happen. The Ingmoth Nexus I don't really care about. Like, do what you will. Thought the token is more relevant to me. Oops. Because, um, yes, thoughts easy. You are not going to be cast this turn, uh, this game. I don't care. So 
So K commands. Potentially another scalding torrent, but I think. Well, 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 wait, wait. Probably still was gonna be helpful. Another throne of Geth. Sure. Return and destroy. Now we get the K commands without even working for it. It's still gonna be rough, but the mystical teachings in our graveyard gives me some sort of relief. Also, don't care about. So we could go with another cryptic here, I think. Snapcast Mage is, of course, also pretty good. Ah, Snapcast Mage. And then we have just the Triumvirate of our deck together. <clears throat> yeah, so he can increase. Right. The infect counter on our Alrighty, coming in for five. It's going down to nine, seven. We have lethal next turn. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I don't exactly know what he wants to draw here. So let's let him spend his mana. Building jar, sure. Yeah, not a thing still.
So Liliana of the Veil is not very good here. Shim the Meek is very good. Kalitas, yes. One of these, yes. Um probably want to go with the collective brutality over the thought seas. And then we need to shape a little bit. So rise fall stays. Chase can go down a little bit. No, actually. Nibble's going down. That might cost us some percentage against um, a nexus. But it's just not very good in the matchup. Because Walking Ballista just mows it down. You put a card on top, which is relevant. Hmm. Interesting. I was going to say, it better be a hanging back walker here, otherwise that might already be it. Um, we are going to go minus. So he has a pendle haven as well, which is somewhat annoying, but we can't really do anything about it. Ah, come on. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's annoying. So we need to kill the hangar back, but we cannot kill it if we wait for next turn. No, the last card in his hand is another forest. Yeah. I think there is no way around it. We just need to kill it now. Take five. Just then go down to five. Because we have to shock ourselves. Potentially. But Pendlehaven will be tapped, so. In case there is no outbound Ravager coming, maybe we can get there. Okay, this means there is no corn coming down. No fucking way, come on, man. Ah, this is hilarious. Well, it's not hilarious, but... This is just like, what the fuck. Sometimes I just can't believe this shit.
Okay, so um, we're going to play it one more turn. Tab draw. And then next turn, I mean, hopefully he yeah, has one turn where he just doesn't draw anything. Um, okay, just the land. Another Snapcaster Mage. Guys, this is fucked up. So, look what we could do. Oh, we can't do. Spell Skite? Fuck you. Okay, so Snapcast Mage, Cryptic Commands. Counter tap. Uh, counter tag spell, tap all creatures, yes. So this way at least we have a blocker for outbound ravager. Which will okay. So I think now we can fight. But let's go with, over it. So he attacks probably with everything. He would then proceed. We would block the Ogbon Ravager. He could come in for five, and that could be fine for him. I think we're going to take the risk here. Okay, so this way he's definitely going to do something, right? <sighs> so, if we bolt the Arbon Ravager here... He will need to make it a 5-5. Five, five. He's going to sacrifice all our other Thopters. But we are only going to take 3, I think. Without this fucking Arbon Ravager, everything would have been fine. So obviously he's gonna take it to the Arbon Ravager now. And we need to let that resolve. Okay, now we pass priority, so he doesn't get it back. <laughs> this is 
just why is this so horrible? Why does he have so much luck? Oh my fucking god! All right. Well. Okay. The problem is we cannot even like bounce one because um, we would be dead. At that point as well. You could just sacrifice the one that we target. Cryptic would fizzle. For the luck that he had this game, I hope that he won't find any luck for the rest of the week. That was just bananas. Anything that I want to change here? Honestly, don't really think so. The only thing is. Maybe we want to have one nimble. I guess that's a keep. So, <clears throat> all right. One good thing right now is that. We could potentially get Kalitas down, take like one turn off, place mystical teachings, and then get okay. Let's see. If he has a dismem dismember, I mean, he doesn't know about Ancolitas, right? If he has a dismember, that would just be major unfortunate. Please no. Okay. Okay, no attacks, just passing the turn. That is fine by me, my friend. That is fine by me. <clears throat> yeah, don't care about that hanger bag anymore. Don't care about anything. I 
on this this is a walking ballista yep, which of course it is okay so what we need to do here is kill the hangar bank walker and pump Kalitas so that walking ballista can't kill Kalitas Okay, so same problem as every year. Still can't do it. Need to get rid of that walking Melissa first. Which is insane, but... Too many misclicks, what's going on? <clears throat> yes. Sure. I think now we have them. Going to attack with Kalitas just to gain a little bit of life. Um, then we can also go play Jace just because we can. Well, now he's drawing the lands, so we got retribution. Well, about the hangar bag, I actually don't care because everything's gonna die, my friend. Everything. Oh man, that that's gonna be beautiful. Already looking forward to it. Mystical teachings, finding consume the meek. Then we're gonna go and save our Jace. Probably discarding this one. Yeah, no, doesn't really matter. Um, we're not attacking just yet. Then it's gonna be brutal. And not even a dismember can save him. We're gonna sacrifice a god zombie as well, but oh man, I love it. I just love it. Please still play the steel overseer as well. Okay, that's weird. Maybe he doesn't know what just happened. I don't understand, or you just want to see it. Some people just want to see the world burn. Dum 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 dum. 
Hello, darkness, my old, my old friend. Yeah, you understand that that doesn't help, right? And GG. Can we kill him? 8, 13, yep, we can. That was just amazing. Yeah, so a super good league. I think it was very fun to watch and to play. Um, got unlucky there with this one matchup, which I can't even remember what it was. What was that? Oh, it was Eldrazi Tron, yeah. Um, well, and in each of the other matches, we got like one game of our opponent where they just threw absolutely bonkers. Um, but won the other two matches with every chance. And yeah, so overall I'm pretty happy. I hope you enjoyed the league. Um, see you around next time, guys. Also tell me what you think about mystical teachings. It's not always there to shine, but I think it gives the deck um, some velocity. If that makes any sense. So, uh, really happy with Consume the Meek, also in combination with Kalitas, because it's just usually we would kill our Kalitas when we bring Damnation down, but Consume the Meek plays a lot better into the, the playstyle. And, yep.